Rabbi and Rabbi Kaba, exploring the ancient Jewish Talmud to find wisdom we can use in our everyday lives. Please like and subscribe and share this content with people who may be interested. We are studying Nidarim, and we, that's vows, and we are on page 21. And our sages bring a teaching that an exaggerated vow is not binding. For instance, two men could be haggling over a price of an item at the market, and the seller might make a vow. Apparently it's a vow. He says, I swear I won't take less than four. And the buyer might say, I swear I won't pay more than two. Now, in reality, both of them are willing to meet halfway. They're willing to do the transaction at a price of three. But they're making these vows or apparent vows. They're not legally binding to reinforce their bargaining position. Another example is a man might be invited for a feast. And instead of saying, I won't come to the feast, he says, I swear I won't even set foot in your house. I won't even drink a drop of cold water. But his intention is just not to go to the feast, but he's exaggerating and blowing up his words so that the, the other man really gets the idea. But he's still legally allowed to go into that man's house and have a sip of cold water, just can't go to the feast. So it's important to realize that people will use exaggerated language, especially if they're emotional, if they're reacting, and people might always not mean what they say. They might not, also they might not say what they mean, but we do see exaggerating is a part of human life and communication. So one thing that our sages also note is that it's really important to judge people by their deeds, not just their words. They bring an example of Abraham, Avraham Avinu, our father Abraham. He said to these three travelers, they're actually angels, he said, oh, yeah, come and rest, I'll give you a little water. He didn't bring them water, he made a beautiful feast for them. He, he slaughtered three cows to bring three fresh tongues. He had all these feasts. And he, he served them and waited on them. It wasn't just water. So he did so much more than he said. This is the opposite of exaggerating. Exaggerating is saying more than reality, saying more than you're doing. But the mark of a man whose his real character is he does more than he says. He, he creates more positive effects in the world instead of just talking about what he's going to do. So it's my blessing all of us should become men who are doers, not just sayers. Be well.